Okay, we are live, I think. Uh, I hope we are, because I was going on to my own channel, and I couldn't seem to find, uh, the, 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 the live stream waiting. So, uh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, you know what? I just thought of this now. I should look, okay, let me use my personal YouTube channel. Look up Conquering History Games and see if it's up. Let's see here. Okay, it says that I'm live. So, uh, can anybody hear me? <laughs> um, let me just adjust this slightly. There we go. Uh huh. Okay, well, I guess we'll just wait a couple of minutes for people to come in. Hello, Zach. Can you hear me, Zach? Hmm. Okay, we got some Yarp, the Wily Bot, or Willy Bot. Is that supposed to be like uh, the. What do you call it? Thing with the. Proto Men. You know what? stuff uh all right hmm hello tyler fan and julius cool so we have some people back from yesterday that's nice mm hmm da, 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 da. She's so good to me. Okay. So we're just going to wait like another 30 seconds or so, though, for people to come in, and then we're going to keep playing as Riga, which you know, we can still see on the map here in its dominating way. Mm hmm. Da -da for the human. Okay. Daniel is asking, what's my goal for this playthrough? Well, it is, of course, to uh, reunite the Baltic Duchy. What else could it be? Uh, because we want to get the... Basically, we want to be able to take Birthright Restored, and then we'll do all this stuff, and then I guess we'll do the Constitutional Convention. Riga calling a Constitutional Convention! Lucas says, Frick, I am still banned from this chat with my other account. <laughs> it's been a long time since I banned somebody. When did I ban you? A couple years ago or something? I'm sure you deserved it. So, um, I guess, I guess before we go ahead and get started, you guys probably have noticed that I now have a little alert box, um, at the bottom now. So, basically, uh, hold on a sec, let me adjust this a little bit. There we go. Just, just a little thing that was bugging me with the, the, the cognac glass. So, what I've been trying to figure out how to do, and I can't seem to do it, is uh, how I could stream my Nintendo Switch onto the channel. And as, uh, as far as I can tell, um, there's no way to do it without a capture card. Just period. Um, so... I decided to put it in you guys' hands, uh, and uh, so what we're going to try to do is we're going to see if we could raise the funds for the capture card. All Super Chat money is going to be going towards this, and uh, if I get it, then um, I'll be able to stream games that I have on my Switch, uh, some of which could be history-related, but many of which are just fun stuff. You guys may remember me... Um, putting things in my, uh, mentioning in my, uh, my freaking what do you call it? Um, if CSA wins, you're dead. <laughs> well, the American War doesn't really affect me right now, but, but, uh, so I can play things that, uh, you guys might find interesting, um, and just kind of fun just for chilling out. So, you know, of course, Nintendo original titles, stuff like Zelda and, um, uh, 
Mario games and things like that, but uh, also some indie games, things like Hades, you know, is very popular, but uh, I don't, I don't want to give away everything that I've wanted to play, but basically th that I could play some indie games uh, that I've already got on here and I don't want to uh, play a second time, or buy a second time on the computer, because for example, Hades, I could get it on Steam. I think it's on Steam, yeah. Um, but it's like, I'd rather just invest the money in the capture card, which I can then also use for other things maybe one day. Um, uh, yeah, Fire Emblem, things like that. And so so this is, this is the thing that, like, obviously right now I'm very busy, so I can't do daily streams like I wanted to before, but hopefully in Janu once January hits, I can start to daily stream again like I did before, uh, which was a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, again, I don't want to give away all the games that I want to play, but there's... Just just trust me, there is a lot of fun things that I've got on here, including... Um, including a certain game about the French Revolution. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. But I need a capture card, and there's no getting around it. Oh, my goodness, and Titan's Bride 52 coming in hot. Although I don't know why the alert's not going off. Let's see. Do I have a PayPal? Hmm. No, I do not, Lucas. But that's a good point. I probably should set one up. Uh, well, I should say, I have a personal PayPal, but I don't want to, you know, share that, obviously. So I probably should set up a PayPal just for YouTube. Um, but, okay. Thank you very much, though, Titans Pride 52 for the donation. I am not sure why the alert's not popping up. Uh, but thank you very, very much for that. Uh, and so we're off to a hot, hot start. Anyway, that's the that's just the pitch I'm going to make. Uh, there's the alert. And yet it did not update the, uh, the, jeez, the freaking goal thing. Um, okay. Hold on. Let me try to, uh, oh my gosh. Let me try resetting it. Or I think I need to, no. Um, do I have to like manually redo it each time? Give me a second. Capture card. Oh, that's right. I think because of how Streamlabs works, unless there's been a change that I'm not aware of, um, it uh, it doesn't show. It only shows. It only increases the size of the bar when uh, it goes through Twitch. Otherwise, I have to do it manually. So, boom! Just like that, we're 15% of the way there. Thank you very much. Um, so I've set a deadline of uh, I've set a deadline of Christmas, and if it's not there by then, I don't know. We'll have to make a play, but that kind of tells me because we've raised almost this much money in super chat in a single stream before, no problem. Uh, so if if it doesn't come in, that tells me you guys are not interested in it, which is totally fine. Uh, anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. And I'm also going to put my phone on silent so these uh, phone scammers will leave me alone. Gosh, they have been going into overdrive this December. Anyway, let us uh, let us continue. I think mostly what we're just doing is we're getting ready for um, the Second Weltkrieg or for 1940 to hit. Because if for some reason France does not start the war, um, because we need the... the what, there's basically two conditions for those of you who didn't catch the stream yesterday. <laughs> There's two conditions that are going to allow us to begin trying to re, uh, reunify the country, um, or the greater Baltic Duchy, I guess I could say, is number one, the Second Feldkrieg needs to have started, so Europe's in flames, so what's another little war in this corner, or it needs to be 1940. Uh, I don't remember if it was January 1st or June 1st, let me check that. Um, it's... Uh, no, where's the thing that lets us trigger the war? I'm trying to find it. Where's first strike? What the heck? Here we go. Yeah. So, so yeah, it has to be 1940. Um. <clears throat> so anyway, let us begin. Uh, we were going to move up to some partial mobilization, and we need to pick a new focus. We can raise another regiment. Uh, no need to do that just yet, I think. Um, 
Oh, we could do a little sneaky sneaky here and go up to war economy because this instituting of a state of emergency, I guess, will just automatically bump us up one. Surrounded by the Latvians, we cannot afford to leave our civil liberties intact when the security of the city is in question. We need a state of emergency in order to ensure order on the streets. So there we have it. There's our new person. Um, <laughs> is that going to happen before we get eaten up? <laughs> Tyler Fan says five Rias is like one dollar. Huh. Rias? I'm not sure I know what that means. Do you mean Rials? Like the Brazilian Rial? It might have been a typo on your part. Uh. Okay. Oh, wow, that sounds pretty crazy, Dietrich Leon. Hold on a sec. Now, I'm just going to go fill up on my water so that we can uh, get streaming for a bit. Just be, I'll be less than a minute. Okay, now then, um, somebody was asking who's the leader of Russia. Uh, do they have a new one yet? Yes, they do. Oh, right, yeah, it's the, the VTuber, uh, Alexandra Kolote. Somebody was telling me what's the name of this one because I don't know. I actually know her name. I think it was Coco, Coco the Dragon or something. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, and then we got... I think this is supposed to be Nero, because, right, Nero, Italian, Emperor Nero, I'm guessing it's that Nero, I'm not sure what other uh, Neros it could be. And then, of course, um, you know, for, for and, and, and to further, we're, we're just going to be on five speed, by the way, for most of this stream, because we're just trying to, you know, we're, we're a micro nation, there's not a ton that we could really do right now, so until more of our country's options have opened up, we're just going to be living on five speed. Although, for some reason, we have now frozen. Uh... <laughs> Titans Braid, no water breaks when streaming. What do you think this is, a job? <laughs> you know what's funny is, so, so as many of you know, I started working at the post office recently. And this is the first job where I've had a designated lunch break. Or like a lunch period set aside since uh, I don't even know it might have been years 2018 yeah 2018 was the last time I worked a job where I got a lunch break and so I remember when they were training me at one point I was shadowing this guy you know um, another postman he was showing me the details and then um, we had our and he was telling me during the training and he was telling me again at lunch he was saying take your lunch they're gonna dock you half an hour pay for lunch so take your lunch there's no reason to not take your lunch and he was just drilling it into my freaking skull it's like take your lunch take your lunch which i was like dude i haven't even worked lunch for a year like i'll definitely take it <laughs> sure um but also, uh, for anybody who donates through the Super Chat, I, of course, offer incentives. For example, if you want me to say a particular soundbite, uh, I could do that. Or certain things like the AR, AR, space, AR, AR phrase. Uh, those are popular choices. If you want me to, uh, you know, personalized message of me calling you my little pog champ, uh, those sorts of things are all available. Karaoke, other sorts of things. So Duarte is, uh, is in charge over here in Portugal. Uh, let's see here. Kirugo Chan. Let's see. I feel this is going to go horribly. The Communards and the Russians in the same faction with the CSA. Well, ideally, none of the greater events of the world are going to crash in on me. Uh, I kind of hope that the war starts late. I don't think it's going to. <laughs> Um, 
And, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. I really like this, this Estonia portrait, though. It's so nice. It's like, you know, you know what it is? I think it's this little slit here of color on the dress, so it pops her eyes and hair. Just really nice. You don't have to go too hard on these sorts of things. But I don't know too much about um, the Russian Socialist Republic. I haven't, I haven't played it since it's got this new tree because the um, the old Soviet tree used to be extremely small. Might have been the smallest focus tree that's a custom one I've ever seen in any Hearts of Iron Four game. Uh, of course, there were some really really powerful focuses. So, for example, I think it had things where it was just like. You take one focus and you can claim all of Eastern Europe, and you take another focus and you claim a chunk of Central Asia, and things like that. Um, so, but, uh, but, but I always used to tell people that if you wanted to play Socialist Russia, this is before, not now, this is before, um, I would say you were better off just playing as Russia and electing the syndicalist president and things like that. Um, and that costs you political power. I think you had to like spend 100 political power every four years or something, every time you elected the, the syndicalist president. Um, I'm forgetting who he is right now, but he has that big old beard. Um, but uh, it was still worth it because you would get all the the benefits of the mainline Russian focus tree, the, you know, the research bonuses, the military bonuses, things like that. Um, yeah. Oh, they're, they're going to rework Russia again? Huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just basically got to hope that nobody's going to interfere with us. Like, and, and, and the Republic and in es Estonia here, neither of them are in factions. So... It should be, you know, relatively easy. Um, not relatively easy, but... Well, yeah, relatively easy. It's, it'll be a lot easier to go to war with them. Like, we're already in kind of a tough situation, obviously. Um, compared to, though, if, uh, if, if like, we have to worry about attacking them and angering the Entente or Russia or something. Yeah. Yeah, the the old um, the old Soviet Union tree was actually even smaller than the old Hawaiian tree. Like now, the Hawaiian tree is like a decent enough size. Um, it used to be even smaller than this, and yet the old Soviet tree was smaller still. Definitely was the smallest thing. Oh, the Russia change isn't gonna happen for a while. Okay. The India dev is the Russian dev, and so India is now on hold. So they're prioritizing Russia before India right now. But I thought Russia, they already... Didn't they already have um, images of what the new breakdown's gonna be or something? Anyway, uh, okay. So let's actually take a look at our tree here so I can figure out what sort of order I want to do stuff in. Ooh, research slot down there. That's fun. Um, secret police. I guess we should try to get this uh this grant here yeah let's try to rush that okay all political parties in riga must come to common understanding and join into a national salvation front acting as one and abiding to the will of major von schneebrenner reichter and the german military will be able to achieve so much more besides it's temporary demobilize our economy oh dang it i forgot about this issue Oh, man. Uh, so we're going to be bleeding stability constantly. You know what? That's fine with me. It, it's, um, we'll deal with it. It's like, what, once every, it's going to happen like three times a year? Uh, yeah, Spain is next. Yeah, so I know the Kaiserreich team is constantly working on stuff. Um... I don't know what next Kaiserite campaign I'm going to do. Of course, I'm working on a Commune of France one in my own time, but after that, I don't know. I have a few different ideas. I've been the ones I've been debating is Ma Click, um, Siam, and uh, who else was I thinking about? I'm trying to remember. Oh, might have been German Empire. 
Because I've done live streams with the German Empire, but I've never done a proper pre-recorded campaign. And uh, I know that the German tree is, is like, Germany's constantly being worked on. And, you know, it's what the mod's named after, so that's understandable. Um, but I think the from here on, the changes they're going to make are late game changes. Not... Not like this mainline stuff up here. So I think it's safe to go ahead and play it. Uh, okay. Whoops. Uh, okay, what do we want to do here? I think we're going to actually build a little infrastructure. Unless, was there something that was going to do that for me? Revanchist propaganda. No, no. Okay, I, don't, I, I just don't want to take anything. You see, the resistance stuff, this will be useful for when we've taken uh, back the, the countries. The rest of the country. There's going to be a path worse than Mosley for Britain. Ah, well maybe I should wait for that to happen before I play them. Because one of the goals I want to do, kind of like a medium term goal, is uh, I want to play every single major um, Kaiserite country have like a pre-recorded version of it not not like a live stream because i've played the commune of france and i'm working on it a second time actually i've played russia i've played uh canada um i've played just about everybody in the united states not everybody but close uh so i'm i'm still missing though i haven't done the union of britain i consider the french republic to be a major power or at least it's like just a single step below that tier. I really think I want to do one of those. Plus, especially with the the whole resistance mechanics and having to recore France and stuff like that, I think it's really, really interesting and a very fun campaign. You don't see enough domestic mechanic use in Hearts of Iron 4, personally, I think, as a general rule. And there's a whole lot of that at play when you play as the French Republic or the Kingdom in France in this case. Uh, and I've played Japan. So, yeah, basically, one, two... Um, three. Yeah, there's like three countries I want to win the short term, kind of knock out. Uh, am I gonna am I gonna do an Ottoman game after the recent real work? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. It's let me put it to you this way: it's not a priority uh, for me. Like, if I had to, I'm going to write these down, actually, so, because, like, it's, I shouldn't always just keep these things in my head. So, let's see, Kaiserreich, Nations, I'm going to call this a brainstorm session. I'm writing this down on a piece of paper right now. And, and we're just, I'm just, I'm just kind of riffing right now, because we're waiting for these things to happen. Uh, so, I guess, just take a look at our portrait in the meantime. Uh, okay, so, definitely Union of Britain. Uh... But I'm going to put a note, update, soon, question mark. Uh, I want to do German Empire. Uh, and if I do the German Empire, I'm going to really play around with some of the uh, the toggles for nation paths. So I can make some interesting things happen. Uh, so we'll do German Empire. I want to do uh, the French Republic. I don't know which path I want to do yet. That's the main thing that's stopping me. That's why I'm playing the Commune of France again for the Moirai thing that I promised. Because uh, I just, yeah, there's, I'm, I'm not sure which which I want to do yet. Um, and then, what was it? Yeah, Union of Britain, German Empire. Uh, I've been saying, I think at this point, literally for years, that I want to do a Siam campaign uh, of some kind. Probably go into it blind or, or something. Uh, I want to do Ma Click Moe Reich for sure. And maybe Hunan, because just look at her. You know, I got to. Uh, Zhao Heng T is Megumin. Explosion. The explosion. I'm writing it down in my notes. Explosion. You just you know I can do chance before I go to war every time. 
Riga may be a remote city from the rest of the empire, but the government of Berlin can spare us enough low interest loans and benefits to build up a local manufacturing industry. Ah, so that's going to give me infrastructure. So let's do that. Okay. Have I played any of the Italy's? Yes, I have done um, the Italian Republic, which was a great game. One of my favorite plays, um, if I do say so myself, I don't know how to say this without bragging, but one of the personal favorite plays that I've ever done was I was playing as, as uh, the Italian Republic, and of course, the key to that fight with the Socialist Republic is getting over the Po River. And uh, I managed to get a breakthrough, and I believe I came down here to Genoa, so I had not beaten the Socialist Republic of Italy yet, but I, I like broke open the front line, and then I stationed some Marines in Genoa, and I had suddenly attacked Sardinia. It was so cool. Ah, hello there, Sanguins. Our beer drinking waifu is doing very well. You know what? Do you guys should I go get some beer, guys? I actually have some German beer. That would uh, that would be very appropriate. Mm. Um, I think we could. Let's also go ahead and uh, increase our our recruitment. Limited conscription. Yeah, but the other Italy's, I think I once did a Socialist Republic of Italy campaign, but I'm not sure if I ever uploaded it. I think I just got bored. And this this was the old Socialist Republic of Italy. This is back when it was in the South that I played that. Uh, but yeah, my my Italian Republic uh, campaign, I was really I, I liked. I you know there is something to be said for sometimes playing a really small country where when you're at war, every single tile counts. Uh, let's see, thematic beer drinking. Okay, I'm gonna go get some then. I'll be right back. You know what? Let me uh, let me pull up the beer that I am drinking. Uh, beer. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll pull up the beer that I'm getting first, and then so that uh, there could be a little more immersion. <laughs> Excuse me. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is an enormous image. 728 by 248. Wow. Noob man says a drunk stream is not something I'm ready to see. I'm just going to have the one beer. That's all. Um, hold on a second. Like this bottle. Okay, I just need to um, like do a thing with the... Oh, hold on a sec. Research slots. Uh, we're doing the field hospitals, and kind of tempted to do the engineering companies just a little bit too ahead of time, though. Um, okay, yeah, so anyway, let me try to pull up this image. So add image. Hold on, I gotta find it. Come on, I'm trying to browse you. Uh, ba -ba -ba, desktop. There we go. Open that up. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's enormous. <laughs> yeah, I've had complaints before, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, let me try to make it a little smaller. <laughs> yeah, so this is the beer I'm going to have. Uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, right there's fine, I think. <laughs> okay. Somebody wants me to look at the East Turkestan leader because she's very cute. There's a lot of detail in this embroidery here. And the necklace. Yeah. Well, here, we'll, we'll open that up, so I'll be right back. Let me go grab my beer. <laughs> Weinstefaner's Vitus beer. 
<laughs> ah. All right. Let me open this up. ASMR time, people. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's, let's unpause. Okay. So, yeah. ASMR time. Wait, wait, what's this? Oh, yeah, it's the demobilized economy thing. Okay. Here we go. All right. Let me also empty this mug I'm drinking. I have, I have a stein here, but I'm drinking water out of it right now. I'll finish it off first. Um, okay. So, I need to decide which land doctrine I want to go down next. I basically have time to do one more. Oh, infiltration, of course, yeah? Um, actually, although, are we gonna get a, a research bonus somewhere before the end here? Uh, revanchist, propaganda... We already did all this stuff up here. Yeah, okay, so this, this is the last one we can research before the war begins, most likely. Um, uh, let's see here. Mr. Slice says, What the hell? I'm sure that leader must be cute, lonely, with big fur hat. What? what? Which one? Are you talking about Max here? Julie says, Not gonna lie, I secretly hope Kiryu Koku conquers the world in the name of syndicalism right now <laughs> so so julius you're the one who's really into the yandere thing um you were telling me l last night uh oh which by the way that reminds me i saw your discord message i sorry i didn't get back to you um it was working today uh because like last night i was going to bed when you sent it and then i woke up and i went to work uh but is she a yandere because the only thing i've ever seen and i don't know what she was saying but it was just like a little video clip of her pointing a gun at the screen so i don't is she a yandere somebody will have to let me know okay sick all right haven't poured the beer yet See, I always, um, I always hydrate before I'm going to be drinking, typically, especially when I'm going to have a really nice beer, because I don't want to be drinking it because I'm thirsty. I only want to be drinking it because I like the taste. So we're going to pour this now. Oh, baby. That's a pretty beer. Yeah, so Wine Stefaner, uh, for those of you who don't know, is the oldest active brewery in the world. Or why is it is it Wein Stefaner? Is it yeah, because the S T makes the Z sound, right? Wein Stefaner. Uh the Dutch Revolution has happened. Okay. Anyway. Uh, hmm. Now, what's interesting about German beers, for those of you who don't know, although I think there's been some stuff going into this, but like, uh, or, or there's like some workarounds they're doing in Germany. I don't know. I don't live in Germany. Wait, Honduras just joined the Revolutionary Front. What is that? Ah, hold on. What is that? Oh, okay, it's just a Central American thing. Uh... Okay. Time for the student exchange programs. Uh, excuse me. Very sorry about that. Um, so, to import technical know-how and implement new technologies, we must establish a system of student exchanges between Riga and German universities and allow our brightest students to return with new insight. Uh, okay. So, we'll do that. Um. So, uh, what was I gonna say? So, so, Wine Stefaner is brewed, it's this Bavarian brewery. Uh, and it, of course, follows the German purity law. 
that was created back in 1516. And uh, please, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but um, the 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 German beer law is that you're only allowed to have four ingredients in a uh, in um uh, a freaking beer: water, hops, yeast, and malt. Which is why. Uh, geez, ten, but ten hours of me burping. I'm very sorry. That was kind of rude. It just sort of happened. Um, so, so I think that's one of the reasons why um, German beer has had this reputation for being kind of better on average than most of the stuff in Europe. I'm talking about historically. I'm not necessarily saying that's the case now, um, but because you know this this is a beer law that goes back to 1516, so it's making sure that it's pure. And also, because it's limited, it really is amazing, to me anyway, some of the flavors that these German, German uh, breweries uh, have been able to, to, to coax out. So, I won't just drink wine Stefaner. Sometimes I'll have other ones like um, Aventitas from... Uh, Oh, crud, I'm blanking out, but I'll have I'll have other beers, and so I'll be drinking these German beers that only have four ingredients in them. But I will be tasting banana. I'll taste cloves. I'll taste chocolate. Like they just somehow managed to do that with the malt and the yeast alone. And of course the hops are in there, but it's not very forward in German beer in my experience. Um, who's in charge in Germany right now? That would be the NLP market liberals. Hmm. So yeah, I'm a I'm a, I'm a big I'm a big fan of German beer. Not necessarily saying it's the best beer in all of Europe. Um, that might go to Belgium. Let's see, Tyler Pan says, "Bro, I just drink vodka." So, bro, why are you talking about all these yeasty stuff, man? Just vodka. Just vodka and a watermelon. That's all you need, baby. Uh, now the uh, the 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 Weinstefaner Brewery, I think, actually used to be an abbey. I'm not sure if it's an abbey anymore, but that was established um, like a thousand years ago, and so why it's that's why it's the world's oldest continuous brewery. Um, now it's my understanding is that they don't actually have a hard date on when the brewing began, but it definitely is still, um, it's definitely still like longer than anybody close you know let's see here hmm. uh, <laughs> mr slice you're funny but uh yeah so right now i'm having my favorite of the vines the founders their vitus uh they make a few different ones of course there's their vice beer and then their you've got like two versions of it actually because you have their regular their hefeweizen beer which is a hefeweizen of course um, but they have like a filtered version if you're somebody who doesn't like all the yeast. I love yeast in beer, personally. Uh, but I know a lot of people don't, so for that you get the Crystal Vice beer. Uh, but they also make something called a Corbinian, which is a Bach, which is a really thick. And I, I do enjoy it, but it's quite rare that I'll pick it up anymore. So usually I go with the Vitus, which is a, which is a wheat beer as well. But it's just, it's really nice. It's like who needs dinner? Just drink one of these. Having said that, I did have dinner already. But it's good for the digestion, yes. Okay, I need to start figuring out what the heck I'm gonna do here with my <laughs> infantry divisions. We got a ten width here. We got this freaking twelve width with the big artillery. That might be the one we modify. I don't think uh, tanks are exactly in our future. Yeah, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, okay, this is apparently locked and I can't modify it. Well, that kind of changes things, doesn't it? Um, this is the Panzerkampfwagen. It wagons comps. All right, uh, so we'll take this and let's put the field hospital in there. Now, do you think that I could request some light tanks? They will not accept... Uh, they have insufficient equipment or we have too much equipment in stockpile. Alright. It's probably that we have too much equipment. Uh, okay. 
Schneid brand vice beer. Oh yeah, I've had that. State mandated waifus. A chicken in every pot and a waifu in every living room to hold hands with. That's Coco's plan. So I have already begun to fortify Riga. Right now we're focusing on other things. But yeah, I've got a fort level 2 going on here. Yakuza dragon. So she's like a mob boss or something? Neo D says, you can use yeast to create soda and it isn't unlike making alcohol. That's cool. Uh, Alright, so we're done with the field hospitals. I guess let's yeah, just keep improving some of this stuff. Hmm. And just like that, our manpower is gone. Fun while it lasted. Who needs beer when you got Shirley Temples? There you go. And I, I don't, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with anybody who doesn't drink beer, by the way. I want to be very clear about that. But I sure like it. Having said that, beer's not my favorite beverage. That would be milk. If I had to choose between the two, I'm sorry, beer. I miss you. But, uh, got to have me that milk. Okay. <laughs> so, is, is this Coco one of the Hollow Live people, or is she independent? Daniel says, who needs beer at parties when you don't get invited to parties because you have no friends, am I right? Oh, goodness. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared for my assault. White Ruthenia is also here to back me up, but right now I've only got three divisions, so kind of need to fix that. Um, I guess we should maybe train. Yeah, let's get those out, and then you train. I also need to decide who my, uh... Field Marshal will be. I guess it should be Ernst Gustav here. And then we'll have our infantry person down there. None of them are really great. She's a Hall Alive one. Cool. Ah, okay. Thank you very much, Caden Montez. And actually, the alert went off instantly this time. I don't know what was happening earlier. Uh, so who says some funds for the capture card also I don't know if you have heard of suzerain if you haven't then I hope you check it out if you have the time and see if it captures your interest nonetheless keep up the great work well thank you very very much so suzerain a game or something um, this actually does sound slightly familiar it's a text-based role-playing game navigate a pol uh, okay, we've reconnected. We, we've cre we've cre we've reconnected. Alright, guys, I think we lost the connection for a second, but it says we're back. Oh, and, uh, we just got another donation from Alex Scavo. Funds for the Funds God. Cards for the Card Throne. What is this? Some kind of game of cards? Some card of... What? Uh, yeah, so so anyway, I'm gonna put the suzerain thing on my wish list. Although, uh, goodness, at the rate we're going, although what's going on with the alerts? You see, first the alerts work, then they're not working. <laughs> I don't know what the heck is going on, but here's what we're gonna do. We're just going to uh... okay. I have to like manually do it again. So by my count, with the Canadian money, we are at 60, I think. So wow, we're over a third of the way there already. Thank you very very much, guys. Uh, Looks like some of you are, are, are quite excited at the idea. Um, okay, so, where was I? Uh, so the suzerain thing, yeah, this this definitely does look interesting. Uh, this seems like it would be something that would be fun for a live stream. Uh, I'm kind of looking at some of the screenshots now. Definitely it looks like something that could create some fun arguments during a live stream. <laughs> Uh, Torpor Games, are those the people who did, um, Tropicana, or Tropico, excuse me? Yeah, let's see, Tyler Fan says, Cyberpunk is coming in two days, do I think it's gonna be good? Um, you know what, I have not followed it as closely as a lot of other people, cause it's just not my style of game. I'm not saying it looks bad, I'm not even saying I'm not interested in it, uh, 
but I think it's gonna be what people want it to be. I think uh, from from I, it's my understanding that it's been delayed, but um, those have been just like technical issues, something to do with because they're they're like releasing it. I think on multiple um, consoles. And, and things like that and so that they've been having some technical issues with that and that's what's been causing the delays uh but you know it's it's been hyped for a while um i'm trying to remember the last time i saw something hyped this much it might have been no man's sky which uh did not work out um i know it I, well i don't know but i heard eventually no man's sky figured themselves out but it's a it's you, you got to be a little careful about things that have this much hype all right, let's do the revanche as propaganda. Get some more division attack. Uh, a friend of mine, a couple, a few friends of mine though, are picking it up. In fact, one of them was texting today that he's already downloading it because I guess it's gonna come out in two days, but you can download it now. So he's excited uh, about that. Okay, other things are going on. Okay, Sanging says. Uh, Suzerain is a new game where you run a country like a Yugoslavia style, and you can become a dictator, commie, or capitalist, and also manage politics. That's fun. Uh, Bomb Bomber Monkey says, CHG, what China factions have you played? Um, counting personally, not just, um, like, on the channel. I've done Feng Tian, I've done Mongolia, I've done the Qing, um, the left Kuomintang, Yunnan. Um, I don't know if you guys would count this, but I've done the Legation Cities. Did this get updated as well? This looks a little different. Uh, yeah, hey there, history nerd. Cyberpunk according to online journalists versus cyberpunk in reality. What do you mean? Oh, like the hype versus the uh, actually playing it? Yeah. You know, the thing that everybody seems to just talk about is that you can, like, pick your genitals or something in the game or, or something to that effect. Uh uh. But here's the thing with Cyberpunk that I'm excited about, and nobody but me seems to be talking about it. Studio Trigger, which is, um, I would, yeah, I would easily say, ooh, maybe not easily, but they're definitely one of my favorite anime studios. They did Kill a Kill, Darling in the Franks, and a lot of others. Uh, they are going to do a Cyberpunk anime. Uh, now, it's my understanding that it's going to be like a 10-episode thing that's going to take place in the world of Cyberpunk. And I think that could be really interesting because, number one, I like Studio Trigger, but also they've done... Because Cyberpunk is not just the name of the game. Cyberpunk is a genre of science fiction. And um, Studio Trigger has done a Cyberpunk-esque world anime before. It's probably one of their lesser-known ones. It's called um, Ninja. Um, so, or Ninja Slayer, specifically. Uh, and I did like some of the aesthetic that they had in that. I think that particular show suffered from some budget issues. But, um, it's gonna be, uh, yeah, it's gonna be cool. Gurren Logan. Gurren Logan was made by Studio Gainex, not Studio Trigger. But a lot of people conflate the two, and it's definitely understandable why. Um, because, like, Studio Trigger was founded by two people who left Studio Gainex. Yeah, I, I think in my, in my top, if I would say my top 10 anime uh, series, and if we're counting series as like a traditional, um, like 12 episodes or more series, not something like an OVA or a, or a, you know, nothing like a movie. I'm talking about like a traditional series. I believe four of my top tens are um, from Studio Trigger and Gainex. It's okay, it's okay, Julius. Maybe even five. I don't know, because when you get to top ten, it's just it's such a tight, it's so tight. Because the thing is, I don't think Fooly Cooley's in my top ten, but I don't. But like, I it's because it's like a six episode OVA. I don't really consider it to be like a traditional series, so to speak. Yeah, this little soup thing. I don't know why Hungry hasn't, like, capitulated. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a mess. I guess, like, maybe technically these have been encircled, but no, not really, because it's Illyria. I don't know how Hungry, yeah, Hungry's still holding on. It just looks like Guerrilla War now. 
I remember, though, a long time ago, it was when I was first getting into Kaiserreich, I did a game as the Austrian Empire where I went the military occupation route, which I never see anybody do. Uh, that's where you go down this tree. Everybody always does pluralism, and sometimes the AI will do, like, status quo, but... Um, you see, the thing with military occupation is it's not, it's it's in a way, it's not, hey there, fat god 100. Um, the military occupation route is not very good because you never get to core areas, uh, so you lose out on a recruitable population. But here's the good part of if you do it. If you do military occupation very quickly, you could absorb Hungary and you get all their factories. So what I did when I played them is I, I decided to use, because I had, okay, I got... A lot of factories, not very much population. I'm going to make an elite mechanized army. And so literally my entire army was tanks. And I'm not even talking motorized infantry. It was all just tanks. And uh, it was so elite. I loved it. Um, I basically went into a world conquest on that campaign with my tanks. Uh, all right. So protocol of 1919. The protocol of 19... Is this the... Is, wait, did Hitler do this? Oh, no, 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 because I saw dead soldier during the Russian Civil War. It was like... Because, because okay, for those of you who don't know, because nobody ever talks about it anymore, and they don't need to, it's fine, but Hitler in the Kaiserreich universe is dead by now. Hey, William, good to see you. Um, because he dies when Germany intervenes in Russia. Uh, so I thought, like, well, what is this? Uh... Right. Uh, the newspaper has republished a document from 1919, the so-called Protocol of 1919, to uproar of many of its readers. The Protocol of 1919 is an anti-Semitic text supposedly found in the pocket of a dead Bolshevik soldier during the Russian Civil War. It is a barely coherent fabricated report which gloats over reducing the Russian people to slaves, declares that the revolutions in Russia and France were instigated by a so-called international Israelite League and that should be used to buy up gold and government bonds across the world in order to build power and influence. Published during the Estonian War of Independence, it has since been picked up by anti-Semites and even added as an addendum to later releases of the Protocols of the Elders of Zion. Oh, those protocols. Um, the government has immediately stood against this decision by the Riga Amson Tag, however, demanding the issue to be taken down for propagandizing fabricated conspiracies, seeking to incite ethnic strife. Paul Scheiman's Riga She Rungshau responded to the publication as well, analyzing the protocol in detail and shedding light upon the nonsensical claims stated there. I see. And that gives me political power for some reason. <laughs> That's kind of true, Daniel. Hey, William, it's going good. We're, we're playing Riga right now. We're waiting either for the Second World War to start or for um, for for uh, 1940 to hit so that we try to reunify this area. Are we no longer mobilizing? Man, we really don't get nothing, do we? But I'm wondering if a chief of staff might be better... That artillery attack and defense is nice. I think we might do Harry Lutz, though. Uh, the army experience gains cool, but I kind of already have a decent amount. You know what? I should send an attache to the American Civil War. Hmm. Uh... Rommel's in German East Asia? What? No, he's not. Okay, anyway, uh... What do I want to do here? Because, like... I think I'm going to send an attache. We're supporting the American Union State, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, hmm. Hmm, mm, 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 mm. mm. Mm, 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 mm. Let's send the attaché. 20% uh, of their army experience gain. This is they will not accept. Can I just try to send it anyway? Yeah, they don't want none. Uh, Fat God 100 CHG. What do I think of CK3? I think it's good. I think it has a lot of uh, excellent. Um, what do you call it? 
there's a lot that's been built in from the beginning rather than being as DLC, so that's very positive. Having said that, I need to play it more. Uh, I've kind of had it on the back burner lately, and I just need to learn new things, whether I like it or not. Okay. Oh, oh, they're governors. Okay, I get it. Mom was a governor. I thought you meant like he was the leader. Um, second German intervention battalion. Uh. Yeah, the Protocols of the Elders of Zion have been called fabrications so many times over the decades. Uh, and yet people just print it as the truth. It's like the Bible of anti-Semitism. Let's see, I like that underground defense tunnel, but I really like this. Okay, yeah, let's scavenge some equipment. And... Huh. Let's get building military factories. Now, how about we go up to extensive conscription as well? Or, no, I think the quality. The quality is more important. Division attack plus 10%. Yeah, we're going to do this. Oh, man. I'm getting a little worried, y'all. You have so few factories. Can't even make an agency. No idea how big their army is. Hopefully ours will be bigger. Come on, train, y'all! Huh, that was weird. Where did the... Where did it go? Huh. Hey there, Connor. Somebody catch him up to speed. Let's see... Mr. Slice says, man, my boy, Huey's so cursed, but kawaii with that cute waifu pigtail hair. Pog. Okay. <laughs> more pogs. We need more emojis in the chat. Right, we gotta determine who's the pog champ here. Would anime, would anime girl Huey Long be called the Queenfish? I don't know. But did you know that there's a Huey Long in Equestria at War? He's a pony. The waifu mods needs a version for the new order. Just close your eyes and imagine. Yazov waifu. Well, I don't want to promise anything, Sangains, but uh, I think your dreams of a... Moe order, let's call it, um, may not be that fantastical. And that's all I'm going to say about that, at least for now. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> fuckers. Oh, man. Let's see, William said... A loony bastard who, it was true, said the Turner Diaries is good. Uh, okay, Germany proposes a single currency. Yeah, the mark, the Europa mark. As a subject nation, we are forced to accept these terms without any say. So we're going to lose political power. Factory output goes up. Daily political power gain goes down. He's trying to say pog, Daniel. Oh, TNO's too serious. I guess you'd ever heard me sing to uh to our uh, our Sablin from the point of view of um Oh crud, I'm forgetting her name. Uh uh the 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 one who's in the uh freaking blanking out she, she's in his council, because there's, like, Von Braun, who's the old German, and then there's the big bear guy, the Ursine one, and then there's the, uh, friggin', um, the woman, who's his right-hand woman. Okay, hold on a sec, guys. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna pull something up here. 
Let's just switch over to something real quick. Let me just... Uh... Okay, yeah, we just, I just don't want to uh, reveal some things on here. Uh, I just want to open up a certain document. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, you know, because I, I feel a little karaoke coming on, I think. Uh, but I need to find some lyrics. Dang it, that's not them. Um, okay, okay, what do we got here? No, 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 no. Is it 18? Uh, I gotta title some of these Word documents I've got. I've got so many, they're just open and they don't... They don't have names. There's untitled 17, untitled 19. I, like a lot of them are are titled, um, but it's just it's just a little bit messy. Let's just say that. Um, ow! And now and now we got some freezing going on. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. Uh, no, that's not it either. Dang it! I was gonna see. <laughs> I was gonna sing a song, but I can't find the lyrics. And uh, my computer screen is now acting up. Ah, cancel, cancel, cancel. Okay, uh, we're 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 just gonna we're come back. We're back. We're back. Oh no. Uh, oh, how was I able to get the chat up? I'm gonna have to uh, look into doing that in the future. Have the chat on the screen. That's weird. I must have done that a long time ago. Uh, let's see here. Okay, the new order is serious. Okay, Sangen says the new order is serious and dark depending on which nation you play. Sablin is just happiness and being happy about yourself, while Yazov is let's kill every single German descendant. Tino fan is Himmler SS Bergen member. Uh, Tyler fan says, I mean, he's right. The only thing a Teuton needs is death. Hey, I will not hear talk about killing of Teutons, especially when we're playing one right now. In fact, cheers, more Vitus for me. <sighs> Dietra says, All I know of the New Order is that Sablin is best boy, and anyone who disagrees is dangerous. <laughs> that just reminds me of a, a, a friend of mine the other day, um, Asuka from... The, the subject of Asuka from Neon Genesis Evangelion came up. And he absolutely hates her. And he at one point said, She's a criminal! She needs to be locked up! And I was just laughing so hard. He just hates her. She's, she's a criminal. Yeah. That's, that's pretty funny. Okay, I'm going to try to find these lyrics again. Just a second. Because right now we're just on 5 speed anyway. We're not, we're not missing anything. Uh, not really. Where are... Where is this stuff? Ay, oh, where are these lyrics? Extremely frustrating. Oh, I found something else I typed out, though. Uh, so here's what... I'm going to cut this promo while we kill some time. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> is, is anybody familiar with the Scott Steiner math promo from wrestling? Well, anyway, we're going to cut that promo as if I'm Scott Steiner, except I'm actually going to be Max, and we're going to talk about the war that's about to start here. <clears throat> uh, well, wait a minute. Here we go, here we go. Get ready for the fun, y'all. By the way, everybody who donated, if you have any requests of me, let me know if there's something you'd like me to do or say. Um, so yeah, we're gonna cut. We're about to cut a promo on these Baltic fools. So, uh, Jabakis Peters of the Iskolat Republic. It's gonna be a three-way for the Baltic country between you. Uh. Oh, no, 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 hold on a second, I messed it up, I messed it up. So, so, like, pretend, so, we're gonna pretend that, like, we're being interviewed. So, like, the interviewer comes up, um, Max, Max Erwin von Schnuberreichter, um, it's gonna be a three-way for the Baltic Duchy between you, Jacobs Peters, and, uh, Arthur Skirk. <clears throat> and then, and then Max, she's gonna grab her beer and drink it like this. <sighs> and then say... 
You know, they say that all Baltic, uh, that all peoples of the Baltic are created equal. But you look at me, and you look at... Oh my god, I'm freezing. Stop it. Ah, my computer. Okay, hold on a sec. Uh, anyway, we're gonna start over. <clears throat> you know, they say all Baltic peoples are created equal. But you look at me, and you look at Jacob Peters, and you can see that statement is not true. See, normally, if you go one-on-one -on -one with another nation, you got a 50-50 chance of winning. But I... I'm a member of the Reichs Pack and have the knighthood behind me, so I'm not normal. So she's got a 25% at best to beat me. Then you add the Estonians to the mix, your chances of winning drastic go down. See, in the three way in the Baltics, you got a. Uh, <laughs> the Republic's got a 33 chance of winning. But I. I have a 66 and two thirds chance of winning because Estonia knows they can't beat me, and so she's not even gonna try. So, Jacobs, you take your 33 and a third percent chance minus my 25 percent chance, and you got an eight and one third chance of winning the Near East. But then you take my 75 percent chance of winning if we was to go one on one, and then add 66 two thirds percent. I got a 141 and two-thirds chance of winning the Baltic Duchy back. You see, Jacobs, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you in the Balkans. Alright. Is Livonia guaranteed by Russia? What? No, they're not, are they? Oh, damn it all! Yes, they are. Okay, yeah, what, let's let's see what's happening. Okay, everything's kicking off. So the Italian wars have started, the Indian wars have started, and the Zhili Fengtian uh, war has started as well. Uh, so get a little get a little nuts now. I was just mathematically explaining Connor why we're gonna win in the Baltic. You know it's fine. I've got Germany on my side. And with Germany on your side, yeah, would you ever need war? Titan's Pride said, can we request you not do that again? Maybe if you super chat it. <laughs> I'm sorry, was it the voice? Was the material actually good, though? Hey, uh, this is gonna sound like a random, uh, question. Does anybody know that one, uh, Kesha song where she's talking about the crush on her history teacher? Um, I asked because I remember somebody once burnt me a CD of, uh, of Kesha, and it was, uh, it was like track five on the album, but it turns out that that wasn't the, uh, the, the actual song, because I think it was on her first album, and it's called, um, Track five on that is called Steven, which is a song I do not like. Um, and, but but then the one I found it must maybe it was called Mr. Watson. Um, William Blower says, "Hey CHG, what do you think of the Kaiserreich Discord games? I have not uh, played it. Uh, I've not played in one, but uh, it's my understanding they do them like weekly, which is nice. That's a nice community thing. I've never seen one though. I haven't heard any complaints." Uh, God, hole. I'm talking about the people who donated through the super chat for my capture card fund. Well, guess what? We're gonna hear. Wow, Beijing fell. Uh, well, that that's what happens when they're fighting a two front war. It's kind of a race though, because the six provinces is definitely crumbling. Oh, he deleted Connor. You deleted it before I actually could say it. Here's what we're gonna do to kill some time. I'm gonna sing that Kesha song because I remember the uh. Yeah, watch Botchamania. Oh, Botchamania is great, Deatrice. Although, admittedly, I've not watched very much of it this year because there's no audiences in the crowd uh, for obvious reasons. Um, and so it used to be like botches would happen, and so they're kind of funny. You know, the crowd's reacting. Uh, and then, but when there's no audience there, they just basically become like these painful cringe compilations <laughs> uh so here's what we're gonna do i'm going to sing a kesha song while we kill time waiting for the local gun workshops and then establishing the landstrom to happen <clears throat> acapella of course 
Oh boy, I just can't wait for history class. It's my favorite hour of the day. My favorite hour of the day. Up on the chalkboard, I just love your ass. Yeah, Hungry's still alive. <laughs> Um, when you write notes, it shakes, 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 shakes. So when you get back my pop quiz, what will you think when you read this? Mr. Watson, I want to get with you. I won't tell a soul what we're gonna do. Wanna get my hands in your khaki pants. Great portrait. Teacher, teacher, what you gonna do? Teacher, what you gonna do? Cause I am coming on to you. Can't put my finger on what's so sexy. And why I want you in my bed or on your desk. <laughs> Is it your power, your authority? Or the thrill of being so, so bad. Can I please see you after class? There is something I have to ask. Mr. Watson, I want to get with you. I won't tell a soul what we're gonna do. I wanna get my hands in your khaki pants teacher teacher what you gonna do the curse just encourages me because i am coming on to you <laughs> and i know it's a fantasy of yours you know it's a fantasy of mine so why waste time let's do this thing Tonight, and I'm going to skip over the moaning and stuff that she does. Mr. Watson, I want to get with you. I won't tell a soul what we're going to do. Want to get my hands in your khaki pants. Teacher, teacher, what you going to do? Teacher, what you gonna do? Cause I am coming on to you. Mr. Watson, I wanna get with you. I won't tell a soul what we're gonna do. Wanna get my hands in your khaki pants. Teacher, teacher, what you gonna do? Teacher, what you gonna do? Cause I am coming on to you. Come and get it. Mm. Uh, let's see. The moaning makes the song. So, so, so you have heard it. You know what? Kesha is actually great, though. And, and like, I know that was like one of her early party songs, but there's some good stuff. Wait, do you guys hear that? Uh, do you guys hear that clicking? Is, does, does anybody? The song is called, I think it's called Mr. Watson, I'm not entirely sure. But does anybody hear that? Okay, it's gone now. Okay, that was weird. Ernie prepares to commit a crime. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Everyone knows Bert's the scary one, though. You know, Bert. Bert, you're scaring me, Bert. <laughs> oh, man. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. I can keep I can keep doing some more cursed songs if you like. It's it's entirely up to you, guys. <sighs> mm mm mm. This Vitus is good stuff. Uh, hold on a sec. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. We need Yellow Rose of Texas. Nah. How about uh, how about Hitorigoto? Huh? Let's see here. Do we hear it? 
You guys heard the clicking too. Well, it's gone now. All right, yeah. So I'm not, I'm not insane. Not yet. Not yet. I have to try harder. Um, do WAP. So I have never actually watched the uh, the WAP video, but uh, when that was first coming out, a friend of mine texted in our friend chat, uh, like a, somebody I guess took that song and they they put. Disney clips over it. So, so like, you know, it, it was just, you know, Disney characters dancing to the song and stuff. Whatever. After that, um, I've downloaded the Ruby mods, Alex, but I haven't played them yet. I don't know if they work. So, so freaking, um, I listened to the song, obviously, because I was watching the video. And it, it was just one of those videos that ruined for like a week my, um, my YouTube recommendations, and I, I swear to God this is true. For I kept getting recommended a mix, uh, like a like a you know you know how YouTube will will make like those those playlists of, of certain genres of music, um, depending on what you listen to. So it kept recommending to me, and I never listened to it, but it was called the Slut Core playlist or something. Uh, actually, no, I think I did listen to a little bit of it because I was like, what the heck is slut core? And it's, I guess, stripper music, for lack of a better word. Uh, <laughs> okay. Send a division to Hungary to end the abomination. You mean, how about we send a division to help Hungary, yeah? Actually, that's maybe not the worst idea in the world. Let's go get some experience, y'all. What a fighter this is. Istvan Bethlin. All right, anyway, uh, let's see. I'm seeing a lot of requests, so Hitori Goto Acapella it is. I'm just talking to myself. You couldn't ask me anything more embarrassing. Yeah, maybe it's about you, but I'm not going to tell you anything more than that. Dun, 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 dun. I'm so mixed up and confused Can't wrap my head around this crazy situation Cause when I think about you I choke and stumble on my words again and again When I attempt to be honest with my feelings Jumbled up in my head before I can speak Drink them back with a sigh, taste so bittersweet. So I'll sit and pretend there's nothing on my mind. There's nothing at all. I realize that I've been searching now for a while. The very thing that I've been looking for is your smile. But I'll hold it inside, keep it a secret. Everything I eat do is for you. When I'm alone, I want you standing here next to me. And when I'm not, you're still the one that I want to see. Surely that can't be it. Only one word. Ah, I just can't say what's on my mind. Don't even know this feeling. Ah, hurry up. I just want you to realize. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Elvy models the best girl though. <laughs> Elvis has said so. <laughs> See, you're helping the enemies of the Austrians who are Germans. You are a traitor, CSGR. Beer wife who is disappointed. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, dude, we're we're pogging it up, Daniel. Keep up. Keep up. Seriously though, Euro Manga Sensei is a truly awful anime. Um, it's astounding. <laughs> Fifth Crusade, do I sing the shower? Eh, sometimes. Hmm. Let's go. There we go. They will allow a volunteer. Took you long enough, Hungry. Do the Soviet anthem. Just, oh, 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 oh. I'm just gonna try to simulate the entire choir at once. <laughs> 
So let's see, we got more viewers than we did it earlier. So uh, for those of you who don't know, I guess let's uh, do a quick catch up while we wait for the volunteers to show up. Uh, while I'm live, uh, for the future while I'm live streaming, i um, raising funds for a capture card so that I could uh, stream my Nintendo Switch. We got some uh, war in the desert going on. But what about the oil? Won't someone think of the oil? Um, and uh, yeah, basically, we're I'm, I'm trying to see if before Christmas we can raise up enough funds to uh, to get a capture card so I can play some various, uh, mostly indie games um, that are on my Switch, but also some first party stuff. Uh, just maybe like a once a week live stream, especially once January hits and I'm gonna have more free time. Um, and uh, yeah, so so you know we're already 37.5 percent of the way towards the goal in just today's stream alone. So it's going very very good. And of course, the sooner sooner the money's raised, the sooner I can order it, and uh, we'll have a whole lot of fun. Um, let's see, getting recruits for the Soviet album, Kinky Boots, the International. I maybe could. Let's see, I think I know the International enough to uh, to sing it a cappella because. How many times did you guys have me play it when I was playing Sablin in uh, the New Order? I should sing the pussy version where it's a, like, you know, uh, you know, please give us some rights, please. The international. Uh, you did the Billy Bragg one. Which just will stir up some trouble, but not too much. The in. Yeah, anyway, um. So, hmm. Let me try to find. I'm gonna do. All right, I'll do the. I'll do the. I'll do the Eugene Portier version, which uh, I like that translation, at least in terms of singing. So, uh, although should I really be singing the International when I'm playing Paternal Autocrats? On the other hand, everybody in the chat seems to be simping for uh, Miss Coco here. Uh, so I guess we'll sing it for her. Um, wait, Fifth Crusade was asking, how was work, bro? Uh, work was good. It was a relatively light day. Uh, looks like the worst of, um, you know, the Black Friday, Cyber Monday online ordering rush is over. So, um, it's gonna be a little bit crazier. Obviously, still a lot of traffic, but, uh, it's not gonna be completely insane like it's been. Anyway, this one's for Coco, our resident syndicalist dragon. Let me, let me let me get my note. <laughs> Use the beer bottle. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me get there. <laughs> yep, there we go. There we go. Arise, ye workers from your slumber. Arise, ye prisoners of want. For reason in revolt now thunders. And at last is the age of Kant. Away with all your superstitions. Servile masses, arise, arise. We'll change henceforth the old traditions and spurn the dust to win the prize. So, comrades, come rally. And the last fight, let us face. Oh, shoot, somebody joined the international for me singing. The Coco Dragon Waifu unites the human race. This is the greatest portrait I've ever seen. Holy crap. I'm going to write this down and timestamp it. Give me a second. Okay, it's like a minute 23 into the stream. That's incredible. Um, anyway, uh... Where was I? Oh, yeah. No more deluded by reaction. On tyrants only we'll make war. The soldiers, too, will take strike action. They'll break ranks and fight no more. And if the cannibals keep trying to sacrifice us to their pride, they soon shall hear the bullets flying. We'll shoot the generals on our own side. So then, comrades, come rally. And the last fight let us face. The international unites the human race. No savior from on high delivers. 
No faith have we in Prince O'Pier. Our own right hand, the chains must shiver. Chains of hatred, greed, and fear. Ere the thieves will out with their booty. And to all give a happier lot. Each at his forge must do their duty. Will strike while Coco's still hot. So comrades come rally. And the last fight let us face. The international unites the human race. So comrades come rally. And the last fight let us face. The international unites the human race. Uh, you see, those are some, you know, whether you agree with them or not, and and Lord knows a lot of leftists don't even, uh, those are actually some, some you know, they, those are some, as we say in El Paso, that's, that's, that's some lyrics con ganes, you know, with got some huevos. As opposed to, like, has anybody ever heard the Billy Bragg version? Because I will talk shit about that version all the time. It's just so weak. He's just like, uh, you know, his last verse goes, And so begins the final drama in the streets and in the fields. We stand and bow before their armor. We defy their guns and shields. When we fight, provoked by their aggression, let us be inspired by life and love. For though they offer us concessions, change will not come from above. Is, wow, yeah, really, really inspiring stuff, Billy Bragg. Guys, look, we could kill the rich, but I think how about we just negotiate a a a a, um, a three percent annual raise to the minimum wage? I think that's pretty radical. <laughs> it's like social democrats. Everybody hates social democrats, right? Because I'm talking about in Kaiserreich. Because like the centrists look at the social democrats and they're like, ah, they're syndicalists. But then the syndicalists look at the social democrats and go, they're capitalists with a pink coat on. Uh, so it's like just they can't catch a break, guys. Comrades, come rally, for this is the time and place. The international ideal unites the human race. Uh, let's get some extensive construction going. <laughs> All right. Okay, cool. Not, yes, not Stalinism, not Leninism, not Marxism, Cocoism. <laughs> That's really funny, Daniel. Communism in practice, bad. Communism in theory, good. Communism in music, great. Yep, that pretty much sums it up. And who doesn't like a good old bum, 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 you know, just some sort of German march, you know. Hmm. Yeah, there you go, noob man. Way down south in the land of traitors. Which song is that? Hold on. Way down south in the land. Traders. Union Dixie. We'll all go down to Dixie. I don't think a Tennessee Ford. How have I never heard of this? Away down south in the land of traders, rattlesnakes and alligators. Right away, come away, right away, right away, come away, right away, come away. Where cotton's king and men are chattels, union boys will win the battles. Right away, come away. Oh wow, I've never heard of this. I like these lyrics. 
I wish I was in Baltimore. I'd make secession traders roar right away. Come away, right away, come away, right away, come away. We'll put all the trade. We'll put the traders all to route. I'll bet my boots will whip them out. This is awesome. I've never heard of this. Let's see. Uh, Connor's heading out, but he says before I go. Oh, Daddy Germany, give me your large military. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, may our stripes and still still wave forever roar the free and brave. This is fun. Civil War songs of the North. Ah, that's fun. That's a lot of fun. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's Union making fun of Dixie, and boy, I sure love to do that. Guys, we have to secede. The federal government is too powerful. They're trying to put their, they're, 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 they're trying to oppress us. The states need to have their own rights. Also, we're gonna have a nationwide conscription. <laughs> guys, guys, anybody is allowed to secede from a nation that they don't agree with. Free states of Jones uh, secedes. Wait, no, 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 not like that. <laughs> Man, fuck the Confederacy. <laughs> Oh, 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 is France making its move? What's going on here? The Norwegian Union is making a move. Oh, she's so tiny. Huh. All right, so we're about to be pulled into the war with the Third International. Deltris Lynn, I may have my problems with Sherman. But damn if his march wasn't based. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a wonderful Sherman quote that um, I wish I could. I wish I, I should learn to memorize it. Hold on a second. Uh, okay. General Sherman quote. But I use it all the time when I'm playing. Um, uh, I'll use it very often when I'm playing board games with my friends. And then one of them tries to betray me. And then I kill them. Um... Let's see here. Where's the line? Where's the line? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Where is it? Uh, okay. Uh, da 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 da, da. I'm trying to find the thing. But it's the one where he basically says, so the South, um, you know, uh, seceded. Oh, crap. I switched out the wrong thing. They seceded, and uh, then they invaded parts of the North, and then now we're down here fucking their shit up, and now they have a problem. Now they're upset. Now they don't like war. Uh, and I wish I could find the exact quote. Uh, let's see. Oh, I forgot that I have the, those Hungarian Hold volunteers that. over here. Okay, so what's going on, eh? Can Hold we that. attack Nitro? This is going into a fort. That's probably a bad idea. Okay, no. So here, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, you see, I, I fooled you all. Um, you thought that I was here to end the war, but in fact, I'm gonna drag it out by putting my division in the Hungarian capital. Ha-ha! Suckers. Ooh, that is a tight top. Um, let's see here. Let's do that. Okay, here we go. Huh. Let's see here. I'm trying to... Let's see. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we're going to be reading General Sherman quotes now. Um, as soon as I pick some new... I'm sorry. Can you guys hear those sirens outside? Probably another person dead from the virus because I live in the Triple C. Uh, you know how it is. Okay, 
let's do that, and let's do this. Uh, okay. Yeah, so here's a pretty based quote from General Sherman. He's talking about the Confederacy, and he says, he's writing this to a friend, he says, If they want eternal war, well and good, we accept the issue, and will dispossess them and put our friends in their place. I know thousands and millions of good people who at simple notice would come to North Alabama and accept the elegant houses and plantations there. If the people of Huntsville think different, let them persist in war three years longer, and then they will not be consulted. Three years ago, by a little reflection, because he wrote this in 1864, uh, three years ago, by a little reflection and patience, they could have had a hundred years of peace and prosperity, but they preferred war very well. Last year, they could have saved their slaves, but now it is too late. All the powers of Earth cannot restore to them their slaves any more than their dead grandfathers. Next, their lands will be taken, for in war we can take them, and rightfully too. And in another year, they may beg in vain for their lives. A people who will persevere in war, oh, okay, beyond a certain limit ought to know the consequences. Many, many people with less pertinacy have been wiped out of national existence. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to find something in particular, though. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you very much, Mr. Slice. Uh, I do appreciate it when you guys see the things I do and realize that they are, in fact, Chad moves. Uh, <laughs> let's read more Sherman stuff. I'll try to kind of do a little gravelier voice or something uh, when I when I do it. Um, let's see here. Okay, uh, looks like there's been some sort of secession of hostilities or something. Uh -huh. I wish I could find. Huh. Hmm. Oh, this Vitus is quite good. Deal with the devil has happened. The way it be. I guess let's do secret police, or no, let's reinforce our German regiment since we're about to go to war. Okay. Alright, where is the thing? Uh, hmm. Where is it? Where is it? War is the remedy. Okay, yeah, let's see here. I know it's a good. All right, yeah. Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. I was looking for this letter he wrote to, uh, to James Guthrie. Um, get your, guys, put your, put your based filters in, because it's about to, it's about to go to off now. Wait, hold on a sec. Let's improve this, and, uh, we're gonna do that as well, because we gotta get support equipment, um, coming in. And we also, let's see, there's no point in having the, the cars, um, let's improve our infantry equipment, maybe, or, yeah, uh, no, 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 um, no. I just don't know. What, what, what should I... Maybe I should do land doctrine and then start making my way. The supply consumption? Yeah, who cares? I guess we're going to improve our artillery. Uh, okay, yeah. Anyway, uh, trigger warning. It's about to get based as fuck in here. So this is General Sherman. The set... Wait. Hold on, I'm trying to control F some certain quotes. Uh, da, 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 da. Here we go, here we go. So this is a letter, yeah, actually this is the le thing I'm going to read first. So this was a letter that General Sherman wrote to the city of Atlanta as a whole. <clears throat> You cannot qualify war in harsher terms than I will. War is cruelty, and you cannot refine it. And those who brought war into our country 
uh, deserve all the curses and maledictions a people can pour out. I know I had no hand in making this war, and I know I will make more sacrifices today than any of you to secure peace. But you cannot have peace and a division of our country. If the United States submits to a division now, it will not stop but we'll go on until we reap the fate of Mexico, which is eternal war. The United States does and must assert its authority wherever it once had power. For if it reflect, relaxes one bit to pressure, it is gone. And I believe that such is a national feeling. You might as well appeal against the thunderstorm against, as against these terrible hardships of war. They are inevitable, and the only way the people of Atlanta can hope once more to live in peace and quiet at home is to stop the war, which can only be done by admitting that it began in error and is perpetuated, perpetuated in pride. We do want and will have a just obedience to the laws of the United States. That we will have, and if it involves the destruction of your improvements, we cannot help it. You have therefore read public sentiment in your newspapers that live by falsehood and excitement. And the quicker you seek for truth in other quarters, the better. I repeat then that by the original compact of government, the United States had certain rights in Georgia, which have never been relinquished and never will be. The South began the war by seizing forts, arsenals, mints, custom houses, etc., etc., long before Mr. Lincoln was installed, and before the South had one jot or tittle of provocation. I myself have seen in Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Mississippi hundreds and thousands of women and children fleeing from your armies and desperados, hungry and with bleeding feet. In Memphis, Vicksburg, and Mississippi, uh, we fed thousands and thousands of the families of rebel soldiers left on our hands, whom we would not see starve. Now that the war comes to you, you feel very different. You depreciate its horrors, but did not feel them when you sent carloads of soldiers and ammunition and molded shells and shot to carry war into Kentucky and Tennessee, to desolate the homes of hundreds of and thousands of good people who only ask to live in peace at their old homes under the government of their inheritance. But these comparisons are idle. I want peace and believe it can only be reached through union and war, and I will ever conduct war with a view to perfect an early success. So he wrote that in September 1864. Fast forward to December 1864. He writes to Lincoln, I beg to present you a Christmas gift, the city of Savannah, with 150 guns and plenty of ammunition, also about 25,000 bales of cotton. So, uh, yeah, now the pace meters are going off the charts. Looks like Edward has abdicated the throne. A new British king, goodness. So, all right, let's let's carry on. Oh man, Sherman. You know, I'm not saying he was some Cicero, but he had a way with words. He knew how to bring down that holy righteousness. Okay. Yeah, that's that's how it is, you know. Confederates do all these horrible things, but then when they get attacked, no, please. Like, 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 have you have you guys seen that that new template where it's like the dog dog, and then on one side he's super buff and big, and he's saying something defiant, and then he's kind of slouching in the next one, going like, please don't. So that yeah, that's like it's like a uh, uh, freaking. Frickin' uh, the Confederacy in 1862, we're invading Maryland, boys, steal the shoes from the locals. And then the Confederacy, 1864, no, Mr. Sherman, please don't burn Atlanta and free the slaves. <laughs> Another Sherman quote, 
um, if, uh, you know, if the people raise a howl against my barbarity and cruelty, I will answer that war is war and not popularity seeking. If they want peace, they and their relatives must stop the war. All right, Austria did it. <laughs> so, there you go. They figured it out. <sighs> yeah, yeah, rules for thee, but not for me. Uh... Oh man, I need to play like an American Civil War game or something just so I can talk about General Sherman all the live long day. Let's read some more Sherman quotes, huh? Um, so, uh, hmm, or maybe not. I don't know. I'm trying to decide which ones I could do. Hmm. He also has a terrific quote, which, uh, you know, well, then again, I don't know. I don't know if he actually said it. Uh, let's see. Hold on a second. Good sergeants, more important. I want to actually look this up because I don't know if he actually said it. Uh, yeah, so allegedly, allegedly. Sherman once said um, that this this quote and and maybe maybe it's because I was an enlisted man uh, that that it's I enjoy it but he said uh, oh all the f's in the chat for Hungary when you guys were complaining about the border gore for so long but um, he said Sherman allegedly once said we have good corporals and sergeants and some good lieutenants and captains and those are far more important than good generals yeah. Um, so back when I was enlisted, there was a guy, uh, you know, corporals were very rare, but there was this one dude who, he, he got promoted to corporal relatively early in his, you know, career. Um, basically he was qualified to be an NCO, but they didn't make him a full bone sergeant, so they made him corporal, which is just the worst, it's just the worst position in the army. Nice, this is perfect, send in the army when we're at 49% stability, that's the best time to do it. Um... Are we going to go save Bulgaria now or something? Anyway, uh, hold on, hold on. So we have our new division here. Okay, how many, how much help can we send, uh, Miss Big Opai? Well, not huge Opai, but decent Opai. We'll call that medium premium. Uh, we could send her down there. Uh, let's do that. Wait, nope. There we go. Cool. So, um, wait a minute. Ah, hello there, Lapjigets. Hello from, who, you're, 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 you're watching from Latvia. How very interesting. I'm about to unite your country. Well, I don't know. It might, it might be a few more months still, actually. Uh, we're basically waiting for either the Second Weltkrieg to start or 1940. Who's leading Switzerland? Let's check. It's the commune right now. It's the council. Uh, anyway, so there was this guy in my unit. He wasn't, he was in my battalion, but he wasn't in my battery because I was in the field artillery. So we say batteries, not, um, companies. Uh, so he, he was a corporal and they said, yeah, 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 we're going to make you a sergeant, bro. So, so here's what you basically, the short version of why being a corporal sucks is because you get the responsibility of being a sergeant, but you don't get the pay. You're actually paid the same as the specialists who are like the highest tier enlisted under you and stuff like that. So... For literally years, this guy was a corporal, and they just kept pushing it back and pushing it back and pushing it back when they were going to promote him to sergeant. And I, it was horrible. Like, everybody knew it. It was like this gross thing that everybody was aware of. It's like, you know, like you got that family member on meth, but nobody talks about it and, or something. I don't know. Or just like this. Or, or no, no. It's more like a friend who you know is secretly in an abusive relationship, but you can't really talk about it because they're acting like it's fine or whatnot, and like you can't. I don't know. Those are bad comparisons, but the point is, so for years and years and years, he was trying to get promoted to sergeant, 
they would tell him, oh, you know, if you do these classes, or oh, maybe if you move here, and I think he switched the battery within the battalion two times. And then he eventually switched over because our, our battalion expanded and we got an extra battery, and he they transferred him to the new one, and they're like, you are for sure gonna become a sergeant now because, you know, it's, it's the brand new battery, we need NCOs, you're qualified, you've got seniority, you're in. Then the next time I saw him, because I didn't see him all the time, because you know, he wasn't in my particular battery. The next time I saw him, we're just we're walking in. I was walking in the hall, and I saw him, and he was wearing a specialist rank. So, so for those of you who don't know, from from bottom to top, the way the rank goes is you are private. It goes private, and then, like E1 private, E2 private, then private first class, specialist, corporal, sergeant. So it was like from the bottom of the first five. And he became, and they bumped him down to socialist, uh, not socialist, to specialist. And I just saw him in the hall and I just blurted it out. And, and I, you know, it was really rude for me to do that. But I just suddenly blurted it out. I went, oh my God, what happened? And he just explained, he's like, yeah, they, they put me in the new battery and they said they didn't need NCOs after all. And so they, and they didn't want a corporal running around. So they put me down to sergeant. So I just thought, because this was about when I was about to get out. I was close to my, my contract was almost up. And I thought, they better never fucking issue this guy a weapon <laughs> again. <laughs> it's gonna, like, uh, they, they need to, like, put a little note and, and tell the supply sergeant, like, uh, yeah, just keep saying that his weapon is, um, uh, something's wrong with the firing pin or whatever. And just keep not issuing it to him or something. Uh, yeah, because it, or I was like, at least don't issue it while I'm still in before he shoots this place up couldn't freaking believe it they didn't even leave him at corporal they pushed him down terrible terrible i hope he got out but i think he had just re-enlisted recently because they're like oh yeah you know re-enlist and you'll get uh you'll get a promotion that's why i never made a uh, nco i wouldn't enlist and they were very clear with me about that they, they basically said if you don't re-enlist you're not going to get promoted to an nco because why are we going to do it if you're going to leave I went, okay well i'm leaving so, uh, I guess I won't be an NCO. Didn't stop him from putting some guys under me, though. So, do I, yeah, so then they didn't even make me corporal. I might have been the first... I think I was actually the first person in my family who joined the military that didn't become an NCO. Nobody ever gave me any crap about it, though. They understood. Yeah, pretty long one, Tyler. We're about to end it, though, here in about ten minutes. Especially because I haven't gotten any, you know... Let's see here. What battery was I? We would we shot light. I was light artillery. We shot the howitzers, the um, uh, the the one one sevens. No, 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 no. Um, I think it might have been yeah the. No, it freaking um. Hold on a second. Well, also the thing was we got our we got the howitzers that we used replaced twice while I was in there. Um, but I trained on different stuff, like I trained on a paladin, uh, and things like that. But we were mostly light artillery. I don't know what to take next. I really don't. Maybe, uh, I should just get some better fighters or something. Hmm. Let's do some training, pilot exercises, please. And uh, let's see, how much fuel does that eat up when I do that? Well, actually, I'm still pretty good. Mr. Slice, have I become drunk? I haven't even finished the one beer I've had. Although, I am tired. <laughs> Looks like Norway ended up not going for it. Battery. Oh, freaking, like a battery you put in a... Ah. That's a good one. Maybe I have been drinking. Void says top brass have the biggest brains. Oh, you know it. Yeah. Um. But what the frick did? Yeah, I think we. Yeah, it's been years. Like I got out four years ago. It's been over four years. I actually try not to think about it too much. Um, not really any good memories there. Southern Rhodesia. These are a little bit generic looking. 
Second Melbourne Uprise just happened and they're tight pencil skirts. Tight, tight, tight. I think uh, they're doing military occupation. Wow, here I was just talking about how the AI never does that. And here we are, you know? <laughs> yeah, I was in a 12 volt battery. Uh, <laughs> there goes the Patagonian workers front. And Nationalist Chile has been created. Whoa, we got some cool lady here. Remember when I got out, though, I celebrated by running the uh, Las Vegas Marathon. Yeah. And I also went, and I went to a nice, well, like, yeah, the actual official day that I got out, I went out with uh, my girlfriend at the time to this uh to a gordon ramsay restaurant uh in vegas the thing is what i remember though is because like we called and then they said and, and we were like is there a dress code for the restaurant and they went yeah it's got to be business casual or higher I went, okay that's fine because we had brought nice clothes and uh then we go and there was people like in freaking hoodies and t-shirts there it's like why did you guys even say that you had a dress code I know it's that they have money, so they don't really care. They're like, oh, let them in. They want to eat. They want to spend money. Let's do it. But it was like, come on. I thought you were trying to pretend to be classy. <sighs> yep, I used to go to Vegas a fair amount back in the day. I don't know if I'd ever go again. Like, if I wanted to... I just feel like a lot of the stuff that's in Vegas, you can now just get in Santa Fe. And it's cheaper. <laughs> I should continue the Patagonia. Yeah, I'm interested in Patagonia. Actually, let me write that down on my, my to-play list. But it's just... Um, I want to explore it a little bit more so I can figure out what path I want to do. Oh, yeah. Patagonia's got a very cool flag. Uh, I, I I like suns in, uh, in flags. Well, it's dead now. Can't really show it, but... Any kind of like a sun aesthetic, I think, is cool. That's one of the reasons I like the Martells a lot in the A Song of Ice and Fire. It's like they just got that sun and the spear as their house thing. It's definitely one of the cooler house logos, I think. They're they're all pretty good. Yeah, I finished my Lift Comentong playthrough. Did I, did I never? Did I not upload it all? I thought I had uploaded all that and my Yunnan one. This three-way Indian war has been something. It's been going quite well for the commune, though. All right, gonna finish my beer now. Cheers, everybody. Okay, so we're gonna start wrapping it up here. Uh, I guess whenever's the next time that I live stream again, no guarantees when that will be. Um... Oh, Redo has its own Patagonia paths. Interesting. Uh, but, but, what, what, what was I, uh, what was I saying? Oh, the Nigerian Free State. You don't see that every day. She's so happy. Um, and she's, uh, little, feeling a little nippy. This is lewd. All right, there's just no getting around it. Um, but, but freaking, yeah, like, you know, if I'm doing these 12-hour work days, I'm obviously not going to stream during them. But, um... So what I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, we're going to wrap it up here, but thank you very much for those of you who donated today in the super chat. We're, um, as I said before, we're aiming for a goal of, uh, 160 so I can get a capture card. Uh, this is for those of you who weren't here earlier in the stream. The idea is going to be that I'm going to have to use a capture card so I can stream my Nintendo Switch onto the PC. Um, there's apparently no real way around that. Uh but I'll be using it for live streams pretty much. I don't think I'm going to do any pre-recorded stuff with it, but it'll kind of be for fun live streams. Some of you who have seen my uh, community tab will notice where I talked about maybe like once a week doing a non-history game stream. So the Switch will be a key part of that if I can get this capture card. But also I do have a couple of, uh, let's call them historically related um, games on there, including one that's about the French Revolution, believe it or not, uh, which I think would be super fun. 
to play in a live stream, but also some other things, maybe some indie games, things like Hades, which yes, I know I can get on Steam, but I've already got it on my Switch, so I don't want to pay for it twice. Uh, there it is, the end of the dualism. Game over. Game over, man! Game over! Paternal autocrats in Austria, man! Um, and, uh, uh, but yeah, so, so like indie games like Hades, but I've got so many that I think you guys would find interesting, even that they're not hi history related, because I think either maybe you haven't heard of them, or, or like, they're, they're really, like, interesting for, yeah, Poland ate Galicia. Uh, they kind of snuck away with that when, uh, the Austrians weren't looking. Oh, isn't she pretty? Um, just the uh, like rhythm games, um, 2D games, 3D games, and you know maybe we could do some first party stuff like the Mario and the Zelda franchises. Uh, but anyway, uh, th uh, but thanks again for everybody who donated, and um, and uh, I'm gonna try to like let me write that down. Somebody did bring up that um, they're having they have trouble donating through YouTube, so I should try to set up a PayPal. So I will try to do a PayPal under the Conquering History Games name because I have a personal PayPal, but I don't want to share that. Um, because then, you know, people could, like, screw with me, uh, I'm afraid. Oh, did Carl just die? No, Carl's there. Uh, anyway, I'm going to look into that to see how I can set up a second PayPal um, account. Because the... Th Let's see, I, the thing that I'm, 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 I don't know about though is like, because I think I have to hook up a PayPal, because I set up my personal PayPal years ago, so I think I have to like hook it up to a bank account when you make one. So I would I have to like make a second bank account, or could I like attach one to my savings, one to my checking? I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. But anyway, thank you very much for joining me. And I just realized we actually have a bit of a navy here. Um, that's kind of cool. We'll have to deploy that sometime, I guess. Um, so. You all have yourselves a wonderful day, and uh, go check out some other stuff on the channel. I'll see you around. I'm conquering history games. Oh, and, and also, as also like I always say, if uh, you're coming in here late and you didn't see the earlier parts of the stream, remember, I always try to put my live streams in my live stream playlist on the channel so that um, people can watch it who aren't able to be here live. Because I know that I have fans that are like in all sorts of different parts of the world, so they have different. Um, you know, time zones that they work at. So, like, there's people who are asleep right now while I'm streaming. So that way they can check it out in the morning. Uh, yeah, Moklik, Moirike, definitely in the future. Don't worry about it, people. It's gonna happen. Uh, so, for real, for real, I'll see y'all around.